Okay, so in my last video I made a basic impeller and it was just the basic principle of how to make a simple one just for design aspect and um, this one I'm about to make is a little bit more advanced, more um, detailed, more functional I think. I'm no engineer but um, this one should work because it looks pretty much like a real one. Um, so you're going to start off with your, like in the last one, just a circle on the bottom, extrude it up, and go 10 millimeters again. Go to front view, again, make a line about 7 millimeters if you're using the same dimensions as me. Now you're going to go um, from the top again, you're going to make one here and then you're gonna make one just above the middle ah. and then stop sketch there and you're gonna make these the same rotation and move them so it looks something like that just play around with the angles I mean it's all user preference and for the top oh yeah we have to okay uh, for the top one move it out just a little bit more so that you get kind of that slant on it that drives the liquid or air upwards and that looks about right so now what we do is first we have to accept that and then we select them all like we did before go to patch workspace again go to loft and then it will create a better curve better than my last one uh, this one this little gap here we can just fix by extruding this out a little bit more um, in fact I feel like it's a little too small. Whatever, I'll work with it. Okay, so we made that, and now we thicken it. And I'll do 0 0.2 this time. And then we go to pattern again. Create pattern circular pattern I might sneeze no we're okay uh, and then we just wrap it around again I'm gonna go up to 16 because that kinda looks better or 15 looks better this way so now we got the better look so like bigger fins out back smaller fins up front which compresses um and now to fix the gap what uh what a normal impeller looks like I've done some Google image research the finest research available uh, and then um you just click on the bottom but it's not wanting to so I'm gonna have to cancel and try again sketch offset oh wait stop sketch sketch offset there we go that should work now. Yeah, okay, so then just drag it out like a tiny bit. Maybe that much. And then stop sketch and go to select these two and go to loft and then go to uh, join instead of cut. And then, and then you get that conical shape. That's actually like really wimpy. Should probably redo that. Uh, create sketch offset. Make that a little bit more outwards. Make it make it as the base of it. That might be too much. Whatever. Experimentation. I'm just winging it. I don't even care. Uh, and loft. No, that looks that looks pretty good. So we'll go join again and okay. 
and then we will lower that down a bit. Uh, what? Oh yeah, I have to push and pull on that. Extrude. Okay. So now it's a better looking impeller design for you peeps out there. Um, yeah, once again, like, subscribe if you want any more tutorials or anything. Yeah, apologize for the shitty last video, but I've been experimenting with this a little bit more, so it should be better. Alright, thanks for watching.